Omnia, this one sounds better. <laughs> Founded in 1953 in Sasolberg. Focuses on fertilizers, explosives, and chemicals for the agriculture industry. Omnia has a market cap of 14 billion rand, price to earnings ratio of around 15.5, dividend yield of 1.7. But this one, Seppo, has been <laughs> an absolute <laughs> rocket. They did that rights issue somewhere in the middle. Mm. The new nitric acid plant down in Sasselberg really working well for them. <laughs> Cruising through 200 rand a share. <laughs> Yo. Um, this is one business where I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, I think a few years ago with that massive rice issue that they had yeah. um, and that nitric acid plant, which was huge in their lives. I can't explain just how big it was. Um, and the big concern there was, uh, are they going to be able to maintain it within budget, within time frame? And yeah. they've, uh, they've ticked both of those boxes and then some. Um, so operationally, this is a phenomenal business. A slightly different mix to, to AECI in terms of their slightly less skewed to mining sector. Mm -hmm. um, that agricultural leg um, adds quite a nice kick in terms of earnings and, and potential growth here. So that's exciting when you, in the comparison between yeah. the two. Um, so yeah, overall a, a, a nice business here, very yeah. nice business. Because as you say, that rights issue was done at around 50 Rand, and I think it was in 2011, mm. and it was underwritten by asset management firms, if I recall, like mm. Alan Gray or Coronation or mm. someone, that took all the shares that the shareholders didn't want. Wasn't it a big discount to the prevailing share price? It wasn't and as you say, they raised like a third more shares than were in issue at the time. Yeah. But if you were brave and followed your rights then at 50 bucks a share, now <laughs> you've seen your value go up by fourfold. And then some, yeah. And really, it does, as you were saying, uh, not look all that expensive at current levels, because the earnings that they've been able to deliver thanks to rising demand for fertilizers into Alia mm. certainly been good. Look, uh, uh, the exciting bit is that nitric acid plant in the last first set of numbers um, was only 60% at 60% capacity. Um, so expecting a little bit more uptick going forward from yeah. that, um, which saves them in terms of operating costs. Um, and we expect earnings to, to keep ticking up there. Mm. So uh, are we expecting good earnings boost going forward? Yeah, and at this market cap scale, it's starting to really attract more attention at a global level and I think the local fertilizer market there were one or two factors where like an international player like Yara moved out mm -hmm. and of course we know that a lot of the uh, undeveloped arable land is in sub-Saharan and southern Africa in particular mm -hmm. so if the seven billion people on the planet are going to get fed there's going to have to be agricultural estates developed in this greater region so a good market share here is certainly going to count for them. And we're seeing them starting to do really well in the rest of the continent. I think the rest of the continent now constitutes almost 30%. Um, I could be wrong on that mm. number, but it's, it's a fair chunk of their overall earnings. So sending their guys up to Zambia to go and sell to yeah. people who are growing or whatever they grow up there? Within both the mining and the, okay. the agricultural sectors. Yeah. So they're yeah. doing well in both of those mm. in particular. Yeah. Management also been around a long time. Rod Humphreys, well regarded. People like him. Certainly hasn't been any uh, issues there. I suppose in due course they probably got a whole cater of experienced leadership people at the secondary level to slot in there. Look, I can't speak uh, highly enough about management here. Uh, the fact that you have you raised nearly a third of your market cap in terms of, of rights and then implement both on target and maintaining costs yeah. is phenomenal. Yeah. Um, so yeah, management superb here. Yeah. Excellent, good. So we're definitely both hot on this one. Very